Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet, everybody. Uh, last time with the high, uh, so so-called highlight reel, because I did, a, I was planning on doing everything in about two hours. Ended up doing what I needed to do in an hour and a half, so that's good for me. And that was, def and what I did last time was I defeated Mela, then I defeated Iono, then I defeated the lurking Steel Titan. This time around. I plan on taking on whoever's next, so it looks like two Steam, uh, two Team Star bosses, and then one gym leader. Let's zoom in, and it looks like I'll be going up against Atticus, and then Team, uh, then Aerie from Team Star, and then the gym leader is Grusha. Ice type gym leader. Oh, I think I saw him in the freaking uh, trailer beforehand. Okay. <clears throat> and as uh, as y'all can tell, is I've definitely explored a little bit. I got these uh, Poke Centers able to fly to, and I've also done as usual some level grinding. Now keep in mind, real quick. Let me uh, get rid of my webcams real quick. So, I still have two gym badges, so supposed quote-unquote level 30 Pokemon are supposed to obey me, and yet all my team are freaking higher than that, and they still listen to me. And, uh, can I get a, a fla flashback to the first highlight reel when my Quaxley evolved into Quaxwell, and I said, uh, I, pref I regret picking... Quaxley over Sprigatito of Rikoko. Quaxley evolved into Quaxwell. What is that? I now regret not picking either Fuikoko or Sprigatito. Uh, yeah, I double down on that. See, Quaxley alone, he looks great. But then, evolving into Quaxwell, it's questionable. And then once you get to the final evolution, Quackavel. Why did I choose him? Why? I regret everything that I chose for him. The freaking motions as well. I don't... I'm... I'm just gonna drop it. He's way above our level. We've gotta get the boss. All right, Atticus. Let me see you. Again? Really? Another Star Mobile? Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel shadow, I take it? You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. I plunge into Grim Poison. A plunge into Grim Poison shall be your well-deserved fate. Unguard. Oh, here we go again with the guitar. Right, he is. Oh. Interesting start, okay. It's a good thing I'm not choosing freaking, uh... It's a good thing I'm not choosing Gallade as the starting. That'd be rough. Certain moves can poison with the mere grace. Trimble, scoundrel, for thy Pokémon's sake. Oh, nice. Toxic spikes. <laughs> Wait, I just realized, does 
Would it even be able to poison a poison type Pokemon? Hmm. Interesting. I guess we'll get our answer. It's about to send out Rev of Room. Oh, come on, that's... Bulldoze. You did good, Claw Sire. I think, yeah, I was gonna say, I think this one's a different one from the one before. Iron Head, okay. Nah. Hmm. Interesting. At least this way, I have no weakness. Because Colossal, when he terrestrializes, <laughs> he's a normal type. Oh. Oh, wait. I forgot. <laughs> I'm dumb. I think this might actually go well. It's about to send out Muck. What level is Muck? 32? Okay. Oh, come on. Uh, let's give him a full restore real quick. Sludge Wave, but I dodged it. Nice. Oh, nice. You think... To give me a taste of my my own poison? Fine. Oh, here we go. So this one's called Noxious Torque. Okay.
Man, this one's going on for a while. So if, so if Rev of Room is hit, hit by a physical attack, it scatters toxic spikes around the, my team's feet. Damn. Colossal's gone. You did your best, buddy. I might as well send in Gyarados because he has the flying type. Uh, he has, uh, he's half flying type, so the spikes won't affect him. And attack fell too, so there's that. I want to revive Claude Sire real quick. I feel like I might have this. Uh, what's more powerful, Waterfall or... Aqua Tail has more power. Do it. Try again. Oh boy. Oh, let's go. First try. Unfortunately, Colossal and Gallade won't be able to get experience points for that. Uh, well. Actually, I don't think I was able to get experience points back when I defeated Mello. Year and a half ago. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Oh, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thanks so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Airy. Airy, if it aligns with your vision, then I am content. 
Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. So good at these sorts of thing crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs in to our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what's that's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Apologies if I left out the gym test, because I know I left in the gym test when I did Iono, but this time around I uh, left it out because it didn't seem that interesting to leave in. Mm. There you are. <laughs> I'm freezing. I take it you're a challenger? Yep. My name's Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills? Yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today's not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? You bet. Ugh, still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do personally. You're ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Gym Leader Grusha! Hey, Frostmoth! Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. I'm fine. Nah. Oh! Damn. That had to have been a freaking critical hit. What the fuck happened there? Oh, okay. Ascending Quackavel. Low sweep. All right, all right. So far, so good. It's a titan. That is so loud in my ears. What the hell? Mm. 
Oh. If only that would have been a critical hit, that would have knocked him out. Wow. Oh! Priority move. Uh, okay. That is so loud. What the fuck? I think it kind of helps the fact that Gallade knows Drain Punch and Mystical Fire. Wants to send Altaria? Ice type gym leader with a dragon fly. <laughs> Terrestrialized. I keep forgetting about terrestrialization. Not just talk, I see. But you're still one false step from a steep fall. Battles are like mountains in winter. The situation can change in a heartbeat. Hey, yo, where's my terrestrialize? Don't call me out! I think I caught this dude out in the wild, like a wild, uh, terrestrialized, uh, Curlio. And I gave it an Everstone to keep it away from evolving for, uh, into a Curlio. Uh, my bad, uh, Gardevoir. Special attack. Oh, okay, that helps out. Uh, I'm gonna do Drain, drain Punch just in case. Oh, nice. I think I win. I think I won. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh. You idiot, dude. I don't want to see this. You're kidding! It knocked itself out from confusion? Oh my god, okay. I thought for sure I would get that with freaking my first three, but no, all, th all three of them has a freaking faint. As to be expected, his freaking Pokemon were all level, like, high level 40s. Uh, Incinerate. Let's get rid of Facade. How do you evolve uh, the Charcadet? I need to look that up into my Pokedex. Melted straight through to my eyes. It's time to take on the boss of the, uh, whatever this Team Star squad is. When I was doing the Star Barrage, it was a bunch of fighting types, so, boss of Team Star's fighting crew, Aerie.
Now, some time has passed between the recording of me fighting Grusha, the gym leader, the ice type gym leader, between now when I'm recording this fight. So, in the time frame that it took between then and now, I've leveled up my team and I've also readjusted some of my Pokemon and caught some new ones to help balance, uh, help make it more suitable for fighting types. Since on the map I could see what uh, typing the squad is going to be. And I have an, and I think I have a solid plan because the lowest level of my Pokemon is level 49, I think. Airy of Team Star. Let's go. So first we have Toxic Crook versus Gallade. It's precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Yeah, so... I have... Let me remove my webcam real quick. So I have 53 Gallade, 52 Amarouge, 43 Dragonair, level 53 Ditto, level 52 Driftblum, and level 56 Quackville. My bad, I thought my lowest level was 49. No, this is Dragonair, level 43. Hmm. But I think I have a solid team for this now. Plus, Ditto has the imposter ability? Oh, that's gonna help me out. Give as good as I get, that's a promise. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm using Psycho Cut. <laughs> Quadruple damage, bitch! Uh, Annihilate? Wait... Is this the Primeape Evolution that I saw in the Pokedex, uh, on my phone? I gotta see this. Hold up. I wanna send in Ditto for this. I wanna know exactly what moves I'm dealing with here. What the hell? That is so much more frightening than what I saw in the Pokedex. What the fuck? Rage Fist, Close Combat, Ice Punch, Fire. Okay. And then when Ditto terrestrializes, he becomes Fire type. Now let's go Rage Fist. Are you attacking first? Damn! Oh! Alright, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Yeah, it would be suitable for me to use Psy Shock on that one. Huh. This is interesting. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Oh, damn. Lucario. Oh god, I hope to god I'm fast enough. You know what? No, I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, I'm turning- I'm turning the boost on my headphones on. Oh! Damn! Oh, I could use Quackavel and use Low Sweep. Okay. It saves uh, Gallade and Drifblim the pain and suffering here. Oh! 
Ooh, damn. Or sphere never misses. Okay. Pass Simeon. Uh, no. Keep Quackaval in for a little bit. Well, I know who I'm sending out to, uh, for a little bit for a distraction. <laughs> Hyper Potion to Gallade to get him fixed up real quick. One shot. <laughs> then I can send in Gallade. Half HP, okay. With all that defense down, I don't think that's good. And then now Rev of Room. <sighs> I keep forgetting about that. Uh switch to Drift Blim. Because that way the fighting type moves won't have any effect. Spin out still hurts a little bit, apparently. And spin. And it decreases the speed stat harshly? Wow. Now I'm not gonna waste time doing that. Uh, wait. What's the. I forgot what the frickin'. Summary, uh, okay, 107 attack, 127 special, okay, so special attack is higher. Plus, Shadow Ball decreases the special defense, I think. Defense rows. Ah, mate. Can I get a freaking better flying type move than Gust? What the fuck? I might as well. I might as well go Ghost. Get a little bit extra boost. Oh shit, okay.
I want to see your shift gear again real quick. Oh! Uh, let me see. Ugh, damn. I should have kept him flying. I know there's no shot that Gallade is faster, so if I do Revival Herb on Drifloon, he's back to Ghost Flying when I send him back out. Fingers crossed! Fingers crossed! Yes! She's dressed up as a wrestler, so I might as well do this. One! Two, three, you're out of here. It's a knockout. I think I went a little too far. Switch some tough battle. So good training. Yeah, but truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making switch strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokémon without you, Aerie. You're the big boss that it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the biggest, you're the brightest star in the whole team. Eh, come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now? I'm totally pooped. Ah, sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. Ready. We four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy help. Thank you for your concern, Atticus, but lately I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember the time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star bench makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it up my all. Out of... I think so far... Scarlet and Violet has one of the best storylines in a Pokemon game since Black and White. The storylines for X and Y, Sun, Moon, and even Sword and Shield, at a, on a rate, uh, rating scale of 1 to 10, I'd give those like a 4 or 5. Black and White, that was a solid, eight, uh, solid score of 8 to 10. This is on that level. Require me to give it to you. I want you to have this.
Oh, look at that. Okay. You know what? I like that picture right there. Let's see you try out my trademark move, too. Here, this one's for Close combat. Oh, Lord. I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. It's just really... Looks like it's all over. Oh, really? This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for our talk. So what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Eri compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, alright, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete. She's really pretty too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was, I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her? Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle. And once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the, chose, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it. But then Riri? She chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Eh, uh, no. I merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. I think so far out of, I've defeated three bosses of Team Star so far. I've defeated Mela, I've defeated Atticus, and I've defeated Aerie. And out of those three, I'd have to say Aerie's storyline, I think, yeah, I think Aerie's story definitely hits me the hardest. Because... A lot of people will bully, a, a lot of kids will bully other kids for just the stupidest reasons. I sh and I should know. <sighs> this is hitting me on a personal level. <laughs> 